And we're back again. And let's continue where we left off. We were trying to figure out how to break this this particular testimony of hers. This is the statement, the new statement we had to work with here. Now, obviously I screwed up before. The question I posed is how the heck did she know that the car was stolen? Now, do you remember where she was, quote-unquote, supposed to be? And do you remember where... Well, on the map of the Dusky Bridge, there's a... It shows where the car was parked. And that is where we find our contradiction. And I believe we finally... scored one for our team. And... <clears throat> you see what I'm getting at? <clears throat> Indeed. What do you have to say for yourself, Edgeworth? Oh, really? If it's not that high, it wouldn't be on the map, honestly. Alright, that's the picture. And that's the outcropping. And that, all in all, is a big contradiction. What is the meaning of all this ballyhoo? Yeah, like you've been jumping to... for the entire trial so far. Okay. I'm not buying that. It's entirely possible, but I'm not buying that. Exactly. Oh, don't go pulling that cutesy shit on me again. that, you got Edgeworth behind you, backing you up. <sighs> Great. Well, there goes that point we scored, so we get... That's right, time to move forward. We gotta get that point back. Indeed. Ooh. Yeah, but how would you know that? You think? No, I'm not satisfied. Okay, yeah. I'll buy the fact that... Someone broke into the trunk. But I won't buy the fact that she knew that.
Time to choose. She happened to be passing by. She put the corpse in herself, or she is the owner of the car. Let's say she put the corpse in herself. They're not gonna like this, but and we're probably gonna get penalized for it now that I think about it. Stole the car with the keys in it. I forgot about that. There would be no need to crank the crack the trunk open. Thank you for betraying yourself to us. Now we're getting somewhere. I do have an explanation for that. I... I think I may have told you to make a mental note of the fact that the camera has a timer on it. That's what we need it for. I'm sure with random flower pictures taken to fill up the fu the film roll. Hmm. Miss Foster's true identity. What are you saying, Diego? She was here. Or maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> okay. It happened before. Hmm. If Terry Falls drove up there and Foster put the body in Terry's car. How did she get the body in the car without Terry knowing about it? And then... Did I just find the contradiction in the case itself? Do you even know what I'm trying to say here? Anyway, we're getting somewhere. Epic music is playing, so let's see here. It was raining and foggy on the mountain that day. Indeed. Oh. But Valerie needed to wear a white scarf for identification. Okay. Now, do you need to present the note or the scarf? Let's present the note. Hmm.
We established that already, yeah. We have a point here. Oh my. When we return, we're getting closer to figuring out her true identity. 